Hi, thank you for joining me today. My name is Anna and this is a short neck and shoulder reset. So we are just going to get right into it. Let's go ahead and find a comfortable seat. I've got my hips up on a block. You're welcome to do the same or find any seat that works for you. And we're gonna start with a breath practice that consists of a two-part inhale through your nose and an exhale out of your mouth. So it's going to be a long inhale and then at the top, you do like a shorter inhale, bring a little bit more air in, and then exhale out of the mouth. So what that looks like, I'm gonna have my hands on my ribs to really feel the inhale here in the rib cage. So it looks like this. So we're gonna do that three times together. You're welcome to have your hands on your ribs or just down alongside your waist. At the end of that third exhale, you can go ahead and release your arms if you were kind of hugging around your ribs. And now just start to check in with that breath. And breathing in and out through your nose if that feels okay for you. Just noticing a softening down of your shoulders. A softening of your jaw. And the heaviness of your pelvis on whatever you're sitting on. Now let's take your right hand behind your back. So back of the hand to your lower back. If that doesn't feel good on your shoulder, you could also have your fingertips reaching down um, toward the floor here. So right hand either on the floor or behind your back. Now take your left ear and lean it over toward your left shoulder. Now we're not trying to force this at all. I'm just allowing for this gentle opening in that right side of your neck. And just keep that breath moving into your ribs. Nice and easy. And then keeping the head where it is but we're just gonna turn to look down over your left shoulder. So it's like your chin is coming almost to point right down at that left shoulder. And you can play around a little bit here, just with tucking the chin a bit more, lifting it up a little. So it's all very gentle. And just finding any place where it would feel nice to pause and take a, take a few breaths. And then keeping this head in the position it's in, just turn your gaze forward. Now bring your left hand to the side of your head and very gently lift your head back up. So we'll switch sides here. Left hand comes behind your back or reach down toward the floor and let your right ear come toward your right shoulder. And just remembering we're not forcing the stretch here.
And just noticing that with every exhale, maybe there's just a little bit of a softening. And then keeping the head where it is, but just turn your gaze, turn your chin. It's more in line with that right shoulder. This can be down. And then you can play around a little bit with moving your chin up and down, but just in a pretty small range there. Finding anywhere where it would be nice to hold, to pause, to breathe. And then keeping the head here, just turn your gaze forward. Right hand comes to the side of your face and very gently lift it back up. Okay. Now let's bring your hands behind your head here and feel your head move back into your hands so that we're aligning the head and the neck over the rest of the spine. Good. And then keeping that feeling, the front ribs are holding in. We're just going to rotate a little bit side to side. Notice that we're turning in the ribs. and not moving from the head first. So we initiate the movement in the core and the head just goes along for the ride. Nice. And then we'll come back through center and come around into a quadruped or a tabletop position with the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. Now bring the back of your right hand to your forehead and that same action here of feeling like you're almost just lifting your skull and your ears up so the head isn't dropping forward. Push into the left hand and inhale, rotate in the ribs to the right. Exhale, come back down. Push down into the left hand, turning in the ribs, inhale open. Exhale, come back one more time. Push down into the left hand. Inhale, open it up, hold it here. You can reach your right arm up and now thread your right arm underneath your left arm and bring the right side of your skull lightly to the floor. So there's hardly any weight in your head. We're holding the front body up into the back body. And then breathe into the space around your upper back, into the ribs. Nice, now push down into your left hand and bring the right hand back to the floor. So back of the left hand now comes to the forehead lifting the skull up without jutting the chin forward. Push into this right hand and inhale, turn in the ribs to the left. Exhale, back to center. Push into that right hand, inhale. Moving in the ribs. Exhale, lower. Last time, push into that right hand. Inhale, open. Now you can reach this left arm up and thread it under the right. So just little thread the needle. Very small amount of weight in the head here, so we're not straining the neck. Lifting up in the ribs and the belly just lightly. And breathe into your back. Now gently pushing down into your right hand, 
to bring the left hand back. Now, we're gonna bring the forearms down to the floor. And I'll show you a couple options with this one here. But we're gonna take the top of your head down to the floor. Good. And so once you're here, it's there's hardly any weight in your head at all. All the weight is gonna be um, down in the arms and through the legs. But we're just gently rolling. You can go in a circle here or side to side on the top of the skull. So we have this connective tissue. We've got some fascia up here on the top of the head that can get pretty restricted. And it's not really an area that we would think about to work on. Now, if this feels too much to have the top of your head down like that, you can also take your fingers just to the top of your skull and do a similar action. You can move in some circles or you can even do like a side to side action. And you can just work around your skull and just notice anywhere that feels a little bit restricted there. And so we're just working to kind of loosen up or soften any of these areas where we feel this tension. If that head is down, just a very small amount of pressure here. And then if you were here in this quadruped with your head down, maybe just sit back like a little baby child's pose. So we don't come up too quickly, and get a head rush. And then when you're ready, we're gonna come back to a seated position. And take a moment just to notice the difference and to acknowledge the changes that we're able to make in such a short amount of time. Now let's bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And take a full deep breath in. Exhale, let it go. And if your eyes are closed, you can go ahead and blink them open. Thank you so much for being here. I hope this helped and I look forward to seeing you, seeing you again next time.